All right, hey there everyone. This is Kitty back to you really with what I promised which was the uh, a little review over the uh, Sample kit gorilla perfume kit and I must say I did have to actually split this up into two videos because there was just so much information That you know not like a lot of information just more or less you know a lot of different things going on and even one of these perfumes um, freedom the smell of freedom actually has a really cool story to it too so I wanted to go over that as well but uh, that is in the next video so for this video I'm just gonna go over uh, four of them and before I start that off I would like to go ahead and mention uh, that this pretty much the Gorilla Perfumery is uh, the showcasing of Mark and Simon Constantine I can never say their last name but that is just the creators and you know people who are or the two men who are behind this which is father and son so yeah and just to let you know since these are the I guess the atomizer type uh, it's under atomizer is 20% perfume versus you know uh, which the colognes are coming 4% and this one I think the solid tube is only 10% perfume or you know 10% of that you know to be the pure really yeah it pretty much goes over it in the actual uh, online and I will be linking any information I do find on here on and on each you know perfume I will be linking down below so yeah let me go ahead and um, we are going to get started with the first one okay I'll well, we'll start this off with the first one, which will be Orange Blossom. Hopefully you guys can see that. And this one is one of the new releases, I believe. It came out last year, but you know, it's one of the new set, from the new set of the perfumes that are being offered now. Um, this one has Orange Blossom, Neroli, Rosewood, Lang Lang, Sandalwood, and Beeswax. I'm not quite sure why Beeswax. I guess that would be the honey smell. Um, let me smell it all on. To me, it smells exactly like my Mandarin Tea Party soap that I got from uh, Lush. And that's pretty much how, you know, when you go to Lush, just smell that and then smell this. I, I'm pretty sure this would be in the stores or, you know, if you are wondering about that, if you just so happen to have Mandarin Tea Party, this is what that smells like. Because it smells, you know, not, it smells orange. You can definitely smell like a really weak orange juice that just, you know, smells a little sweet instead of uh, citrusy. So that's what I would explain the smell as. And that's orange. I do like to wear this sometimes. I do smell a bit fruity though. So if you like the fruity smells, you know, and here's the coloring. You can, def you can definitely see a color difference too. That's what I'm going to show you guys this. And you'll notice that on the next one. But anyways, um, that is Orange Blossom. So let's go ahead and go to the next smell. Alrighty. Next on the list is Tuka Tuka. Now, Tuka Tuka pretty much is um, the first of the new in the Gorilla range, and it's supposed to smell like sweet violets and creamy vanilla. And what it's the what it has as the main ingredients or main smells is cassie, vanilla, sandalwood, um, the vitivert. Oh, I don't know if I said that right. Vi violet leaf and lang lang. So yeah, and let me tell you how this one smells. This one definitely smells very flowery, um, and you can definitely smell the fact that I believe I believe that's what violet smell like. I'm not sure if that would uh, violet would smell like that, but it's definitely very flowery, smoky, musky perfume. And if you can see the color difference, it's definitely more of a darker color than the last one was. I don't know. I mean, like this one's okay. The only reason why you know I've been wearing this one a bit more is because I got. From the Pianta Pianta party, uh, I did pick this up from the floor that came out of there. So this was a Tuka Tuka in the solid form, and I believe this the color is purple because yeah, they, they each smell has a different color. Let me see, let me see that. Yeah, it's per it's like a great color. And I don't know, I mean, like like I said before, the that one, and it's supposed to be because of a song, or something's supposed to be the one that sings, like, a single, and I don't know. Like I said before, you definitely just go in the box below to check out, you know, what I'm reading from, but this is the Tuka Tuka one, and it definitely smells like violet, and like a flower kind of a smell, so. 
Let's go ahead and just go on to the next one because, you know, like I said, I have the, the tube of it too, so this is one of the only ones that I do have some more of it, so I'm definitely wearing this one out, at least try to. It's just, I don't know, it's kind of smel strong smelling and you have to really like that smell. It's one of those you need to smell it before you actually purchase it, so anyway, on to the next one. Okay, well, the next one on the list is the Omagen, Omagen Rose. Imogen, I don't know if you're supposed to say it as Imogen or Omogen, it's I-M-O-G-E-N, Rose, and Simon actually created this one um, from, you know, Mark and Simon, the father's son, but Simon the son made this because um, he knows the particular, it's from, it's a Turkish rose, and it is on page 24 of the Lush Times, the more recent one recently, and it is pretty much um, homage to his daughter, his uh, I think uh, about two years old by now. I'm not quite sure. You're gonna have to look up that information yourself. But uh, other than that, it's pretty much what he, you know, thinks of his daughter or is homage of his daughter is the rose. So that's kind of really sweet when you think about that story. Sometimes it's kind of nice to figure out these types of stories from behind the smells and things like that. So let me tell you what it smells like to me. It's very much so rose with a baby powder finish. So, I mean, to me, it's very much so grandma smell, even though it was an homage to his little girl. So, to me, if you, I mean, it's very much so a rose with a powder finish, a baby powder. Not even just any powder, a baby powder. So, if you like that, go with that, but not my favorite. So, I would skip that if you want, unless you like the old grandma smell sometimes. <laughs> All right, the last one of the first four perfumes I'll be going over. And if you notice that this set is more of the flowers and fruits versus this, uh, the second video will be more about the spicy and more cologne type smelling ones. So if you like the more, you know, like I said, the fruits and flowers, then this is a video, you know, that goes over those smells. But this one is called, oops, there we go, <laughs> Lust. And this one Mark, uh, the father, actually created. And this one's just pretty much, if you like jasmine, this is it. I mean, jasmine, lang lang, rose, vanilla, and sandalwood are the main points to that. Pretty much, it is just jasmine. And, and let me just we'll go ahead and get a nice whiff of it. Open it. There we go. Oh, and the, I forgot to go over the toppers. Have like five. Is it five holes or is it three holes? There's small holes. The very top of this little rubber stopper thing, and it kind of drips out very, very. If you just barely touch it, one drop will come out. So I, I kind of like that. It helps to control it. Wow. I mean, this is pretty much a sexy, ooh, a really, uh, as Mark puts it, I wanted to do a really, really sexy, dirty, lustful fragrance, and that's what I've done, is what he pretty much says verbatim on, you know, on the website. So if you like, you know, a nice, sexy, but not, I mean, like, even though it smells like the, the jasmine, to me, it doesn't smell too flowery. I mean, even though I guess it is a flower, but it doesn't have, like, that powder-type finish. It has more of a tin tang to the end of it, the smell. So, yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, like I said before, I did have to split this up into two videos just because, like I said, there is a lot to go over in the smells and the different things going over that. And also, I didn't want to put so much information onto one page to where it was kind of, you know, really long to watch. But anyway, um, I hope to see you in the next one. Like I said, I'm going to be going over the more cologne-type smelling, more spicier smells. So, yeah, I hope this, that you subscribe and, you know, watch the next one. Bye!